go. All right. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Game Show Time War. As we wrap up decades galore, the 1980s in New York City, we're going to give you a lineup for WORTV Channel 9 New York when it was in New York before it went to New Jersey. Tonight we give you play the percentages. Joker's Wild. Tic Tac Go. Face the music. And the dating game lineup from the spring of 1980. And it is coming up next. This portion of our Decades Galore Time Warp Special brought to you in part by Coca-Cola. Coke is live. could win our players $36,000 in cash because it's time to challenge everybody's knowledge. It's time to play the percentages. And now, here's our host, Jeff Edwards. Thank you very much. Hi. Welcome to Play the Percentages. And Jay Stewart, as always, is right on this program today. Someone here can win at least 36 thousand dollars and i hope somebody wins it today and all of you out there are going to be challenged by what's happening right here jay stewart let's meet our current champion here are our current champion she's a teacher and her name is marty his hobby is magic and his name is lauren and the married name they share is smith <laughs> Well, Marty, how you doing? Got my voice back today. Do you? I beg your pardon? <laughs> <laughs> we won't go through that again. Lauren, how are you? Fine, thanks. All right, you guys had a decision to make. Uh, when our show ended yesterday, as you know, uh, we, we left you at a, at a particular place. We were in the middle of our bonus game. You had accumulated 42 points on your way to 100. Now, I'm going to give you a chance to quit right now if you want. I'll pay you $10 a point, 420 bucks. Put it in your pocket. Nobody can take it away from you. Lauren? You can continue with the bonus game because if you reach 100 points, I'll pay you $2,500. But remember, you can go bust and you can lose those 42 points. So what do you want to do? You want to quit with 420 points, uh, $420, or continue playing for the 2500 We're going to go for it. There you go. You're going to go. Maybe down at the bonus place and we'll go. Let's see, you had answered one correctly. Of course, that's how you got your points. You're going for 100. I'll explain to you, uh, just to keep you up to date in this bonus, I'll read questions which are posed to people everywhere. For each question, I'll show you three possible answers, and then you've got to make some decisions. To make the right decisions, you win points. Get to 100 points, I give you $2,500. Lauren, Marty went yesterday, so it's your turn. You ready to go? Ready. Okie doke. We ask people to name the kind of seafood used to prepare... Coquille Saint-Jacques, or Coquille Saint-Jacques, if uh, you might read it that way. Of these three, which did the people name? Did they name scallop, trout, or shrimp? Now, before you choose, I'll remind you two of these 
uh, two of these foods were chosen by the people. One was not. In other words, it scored zero points. Select the one that was named, I'll give you the percentage points of the people that named it. But if you select the one that's zero, you're going to go bust, you lose your $420, and your bonus game is over. <laughs> All right, Lauren, what do you think? Of those three scallops and shrimp, what do you think, you think the people thought goes to, into Coquille Saint Jean? We're going to pick uh, shrimp. You say shrimp. Okay. How many people thought it was shrimp? <laughs> thought it was shrimp. <laughs> Boy, that was close to zero. You have a total now of 48 points. And there are two answers left, scallops and trout. I can tell you, one of them scored 24 percentage points. One of them got zero response. Avoid the one with the zero response. Which do you think got the, 20, uh, the uh, 24 points? <coughs> we'll go with the uh, scallops. Go with scallops. If you get to zero, you're out of business. How much did scallops get? <laughs> Two points. Scallops, by the way, is what you use in Sophie Saint Jacques, and the trout you don't use, and nobody thought you did either. That got the zero response. Okay, you have 72 points. You're 28 points away from $2,500. You can continue to play if you want to, but if you want to stop, I'll give you 10 bucks a point, $720. Marty, what do you say? You want to stop here, or do you want to take a 10? Going to go ahead. Remember, if you hit zero, you're out of business. Okay, here you go, Marty. The same composer created the operas Rigoletto, Il Provatore, and Aida. Did our survey group think it was Verde, Wagner, or Puccini? Those three composers, which did our survey group think created the operas Rigoletto, Il Provatore, and Aida? Verde, Wagner, or Puccini? What do you say? I'm going to go with Verdi. Going to go with Verdi. Okay, remember, you just need 28 points to get $2,500. How many people thought it was Verde? $2,500! Let me tell you something, Marty. You went with the right person, because Verde is the person, of course, who uh, wrote those what? operas, did you? Uh, Wagner, let's see, Wagner got the 3% response from Puccini, poor old Puccini. Nobody thought he wrote those operas, so there you are. Oh. Marty and Lauren, you get $2,500. We added to the score for the game, giving you a grand total now of $2,800. Oh. Congratulations. Oh. 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 I knew that one. Yes, you did indeed. Well, keep up the good work. You're going to meet some new challenges here in just a couple of minutes, and maybe you guys or your challenges, or somebody here today is going to win themselves thirty six thousand dollars i'd like it to happen today let's see if it does we'll be back in just a moment <laughs> Welcome back to Play the Percentages. If any of our couples win five games in a row, what wondrous thing will fall into their lives, Dave? It's a brand new car! <laughs> the new Pontiac Sunbird Goose with all cars of sensible and sensational clean lines, newly designed grill, and the right size for moving in city traffic. Furnished by Pontiac. Okay, back to Jeff Edwards. Okay, thank you, Jay Stewart. Well, Marty Lauren, you have $2,800 in cash. You are a champion. Time now to meet some new challenges, and Jay Stewart will introduce them, Jay. She's the secretary, and her name is Becky. His hobby is weightlifting, and his name is Mike. And the married name they share is Fern. <laughs> Thank you. How are you doing, Becky? All right? I'm a little nervous. Are you a little nervous? Look, listen. We have something to do for people who are a little bit nervous. It's an MC trick. Put them right at ease. You ready? Okay, just, just sit tight. <laughs> yeah. you feel okay? All right, there you go. Mike, I was dumb. I'm nervous too. <laughs> You're a weightlifter, are you? Well, I, I used to be. I lifted yeah. weights for a while until I broke my ankle and I had to get away from it. Yeah, I was, you have kind of an accent. Where are you from? West Virginia. Huntington, West Virginia. Huntington, West Virginia. Right? West Virginia. Well, welcome to California. Hey. Nice to have you guys here. Mike and Becky, you'll be playing against Marty and Lauren. These two married couples will play against each other. The wife against the wife. The husband against the husband. Now, we've asked hundreds of people questions, and it's up to our players to estimate what percentage of the people got the questions right, and then the game goes on from there. 
First team to reach 300 points at $300. He goes on to play the bonus game, which, as you guys know, is worth $2,500. So let's, let's get on with the game. Becky, uh, you'll be against Marty. Are you ready for the first question? Here we go, ladies. You are in France. You have just seen a Frenchman squeeze a few palms. Of the 300 people we've surveyed, what percentage could tell us the thing he has gotten his hands on? What are they? Palm. Palm? Palm. Oh, palm. 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 Yes, palm. Right. Remember, a player cannot change the number once it's been registered, so lock your percentages in, and once they're locked in, that's where they will stay. Oh. Becky's all locked in. You're all set, Marty. Becky, what percentage of people did you think knew what palms were? 31. 31%. <laughs> okay. Funny number, isn't it, that 31? <laughs> Marty, what'd you say? 31. <laughs> no wonder it was a funny number. You both said 31. All right, this is what we do in the, tie, in the case of a tie. We give you each an opportunity to change your answer if you desire. You don't have to, but you can. So I'll give you a couple of seconds to decide if you want to change your answer, uh, and then I'll ask you to reveal once again. La, 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 la. French mm -hmm. squeezes the pump. So enter in uh, an answer. It can be the same one or it can be a new one, but you have to re-enter it so that we have it sitting there. Okay. Now we're all set. Becky, what did you say this time? Thirty-six. Thirty-six percent, Becky said. And what do you say, Marty? Thirty-one. Thirty? <laughs> I kind of knew you'd do that. The player closer to the two percentage wins those points. If you hit it right on the nose, you win the game right there, plus a jackpot of thirty-six thousand dollars today. So let's go. You said thirty-six percent. You said 31%. What percentage of the people we interviewed to tell us what palms were? 23%. Oh, you get the point. Oh, boy. Good thing you stuck with your guess. You get 23 points right now. Now, if 23% of the people got it right, Marty, that means that 77% did not get it right. You can get those 77 points by answering it yourself, or you might want to challenge Becky over there if you don't think she knows the answer. I'm going to challenge Becky. <laughs> going to challenge? I kind of thought you would. Let's find out. Now, Becky, get the question, and you get the 77 points. But miss it, and Marty gets them over there. So for 77 points, tell me what palms are. P-O-M-M-E. P-O-M-M-E. Oh, palms. Oh. Palms. Yes. For 77 points, what are palms? Flowers. Flowers. No. Oh, <laughs> Becky, 77 points over here for a champion this match. You now have a total of 100 points. And Marty, you can get another 77 points if you can tell me what a Frenchman gets his hands on when he squeezes the palm. Soap? Not soap, <laughs> no. It is apple. Palm is apple. Yes, palm de terre, the uh, fruit of the earth is the apple. Yes, yeah. okay, so that's it. No score uh, then. Let's check the score. Burns is nothing. You have uh, your 100 points over here with the game of Jung, and this time it's Mike against Lauren. You all set, guys? All set. Here we go. Everyone knows that the Boy Scout motto is be prepared. Everyone knows that, right? What percentage of the people we polled could tell us the Girl Scout motto? Mm. Of course, Mike and Lauren, if you were ever Girl Scouts, you'd know this. Lock those percentages in. We're locked in. Mike, what percentage of the people do you think could tell us the Girl Scout motto? I said 24%. I just don't really believe a whole lot of people know that. All right, 24%. And what do you say, Lauren? I don't think too many people know it either, but they go a little higher with 32%. 32%. All right, so anybody, of course, if they hit it on the nose, they're going to go home with $36,000. So you say 32%. You say 24%. How many people knew the answer to the Girl Scout motto? 24! We've been building the jackpot up and building it up and building it up, and here comes Becky and Mike from West Virginia to knock it off for a total of $36,000. That's incredible. Congratulations to you. Do you, you have any idea what you're going to do with the money, or is it too big a shock right now? We have an idea. You do have an idea? What's the idea, Beck? I 
Well, we've kind of been saving up for a long time to get into business for ourselves, mm -hmm. and I think, think this is going to give us a good foot in the door. Terrific! Terrific! I have some interesting land in Florida I'll talk to you about a little later. Listen, we, besides, of course, the $36,000, which is an enormous amount of money, I'm delighted that uh, somebody won it here today. But besides that, you have won the game. You're going to go on to play a bonus round in just a second, but I want to say goodbye to some nice champions this oh. night, Marty and Lauren. We've enjoyed that. We had a wonderful time. Lauren? Lots yeah. of fun. By the way, do you know what the Girl Scout motto is? Be prepared. Be prepared. <laughs> be prepared. Both of them be prepared. That's why there was so little scandal in either group. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for being on the show. Lauren, thank you. A big hand for us. Next, good champion. And we'll play the bonus round with the $36,000 winners here in just a moment. <laughs> Welcome back to Play the Percentages. Mike and Becky just hit the jackpot for $36,000. I hope you were here to watch it. <laughs> Congratulations, you guys. You know, someplace in West Virginia in Huntington, Mike, there's a guy down on the phone saying, that guy owes me money, too. He got out of town and told me that money. He's going to get you. Hey, that guy, yes. <laughs> but I heard uh, that you had a dream last night about oh. this. Oh, I don't know. I just had a, uh, some kind of a thought more than a dream mm -hmm. that we would be playing... And then 36,000 dollars, that's all I can say. Oh boy, that's exactly what you did. At I least some of my dreams have come through like that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Mike and Becky, it's time for the bonus round. It's $2,500 here at stake, and I'm going to tell you how this works. I'm going to read you questions which were posed to people everywhere. For each question, I'm going to show you three possible answers, okay? And you're going to have to make some decisions about those answers. Make the right decisions, and you win points. Get up to 100 points, and I give you $2,500. A mere pittance, I know. <laughs> what the heck, what the heck? Who's going to go first? Thanks. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> He's the boss. Is she just cheerful around the house, Mike? Oh, yes, yeah, she is. That's she really is. is. That's terrific. Really I love is. it. Okay, Becky, we asked 100 people to name the first man ever launched into space. Which of these men were named? Was it Yuri Gagarin, uh, Scott Carpenter, or John Glenn. Now, before you make up your mind, two of these men were named by the people surveyed. One was not, scored zero points. Select the one that was named, I'll give you the percentage points that, that name got, but if you select the one that was not named, you scored zero, you go bust, and the bonus game is over. So those, those three men, Gagarin, Carpenter, and Glenn, which one do you think people thought was the first man to be launched into space? Well, yeah, but you got, you know, the key is, is what the people think. What, what the people think. That's the real See, Mike, key. Mike, Mike hit the 24%. He got the 36,000. He's going to run this expert, show. right? Yeah. <laughs> I think you're right. Go with it. What do you say, Becky? I'm going to say Gagarin first. You say Gagarin first. How many points does Gagarin get? It gets 19 hey, right. There it is. Oh, yeah. Right. Okay, we'll give you those 19 points. Now, there are two names left, as you can see, Carpenter and Glenn. I can tell you that one got a 41% response. The other one, nobody thought was the first man who went into space. It's up to you to pick the one that the people thought went into space. Stay away from the zero. And what do you think? Glenn. 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 John Glenn. I mean, not John Glenn. Glenn. <laughs> well, it, it is John Glenn. There's only one John Glenn that went into space at all. Okay. <laughs> For, for the 41 points or zero, let's find out what he's going to get. He got 41! <laughs> you now have a total of 60 points. Congratulations to you. Nobody thought that Carpenter was the first man to go into space, as indeed he was not. The first man to go into space was Yuri Gagarin, the Russian. Okay, you have a total now, as I said, of 60 points. You're 40 points away from $2,500. Mike, it's your turn, and you have to decide whether you want to stop now or whether you want to go ahead. I'll give you 10 bucks a point for what you have right now, so that's $600. Remember... <laughs> I feel like a fool asking a man with $36,000 if he wants to quit with $600. he has got to pay the tax Sure. Okay. They decide to go. Mike, here's your question. What did the people name when we asked them to tell us the only thing left in Pandora's box after she opened it? Did they think it was charity, hope, or nothing? Now you want to know what the people thought 
was the only thing left in Pandora's box after she opened it. Those three things carry hope or nothing. What do you think, Mike? Remember, two of them have responses. One has a zero. You want to stay away from zero or you lose that $600. I think nothing. What do you think? Well, you need some I don't help, have right? any idea. I don't have any idea. I'll just have I to really go don't. with it. What do you say? I think it's nothing. You I think really it's do. nothing? I think most of the people would say nothing. How many percentage points did nothing get? Four oh, oh, percentage oh, points. Oh, you have 74 oh, points. Oh, now listen to this, Mike. This is interesting. You are 26 points away from $2,500. One of those answers up there got a 30-point response. One of them got zero. Pick the right one. You have another $2,500. Pick the zero. You lose the $740. Uh, you can stop right now. I'll give you the $740 now. You don't have to go on. No, I'm sorry. You, you do have to go on because we're halfway into this. So I'm getting confused myself. Okay, so you pick one. Charity or hope? I got a hunch. Okay. I really do. I think it's hope. You think it is I hope? I really do. If it's zero, you're out of business. If it's a 30 points, you win the bonus round. What did hope get? 30 points! Oh! Charity was the one that got the zero response, and actually, uh, you were right about hope. That was what was in Pandora's box after she opened it. So, there we are. You now, Becky and Mike, have yourselves a grand total of, you know? $38,500 in cash. <laughs> well... You know, you, you, you said you had some idea about some, uh, you're going to start a business with the money. Uh, of course, you, who knows, you could be here three, four, or five days. You'll meet a new challenger uh, a little later on the show. What, what business do you think you might be going into, Mike? Well, uh, we want to get uh, into a business. Uh, it's going to be a lodge, a combination marina, mm -hmm. uh, a little grocery store, mm -hmm. uh, all together. Uh, all those things together. Yeah. You got any, got any kind of place you'd like to be in California, Florida, or, or whereabouts? Well, I think I'll let Becky answer that. Where do you think you want to be, Becky? Well, we got an offer. <laughs> Don't say Kansas. It's tough with the marina in Kansas. It's going to be on a lake, and uh, we are we're kind of interested in the Pacific Ocean. Okay. And we are looking for a place that is very nice. Oh, really? Yeah, a place they can go, and then you can it's take all their money that they got from their No, it's going to be free for them. Oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think it's a delightful dream. I hope it comes true. We're going to take a break, and we'll be back here in just a couple of seconds. Back to, back to play the percentages. Mike and Becky, uh, you know, nothing's going over all this again. You, you've, you've made more money in a half an hour than most people make in a, in, in a year. So congratulations to you. Tomorrow you'll be back on the show. you need some new challengers. And I am just delighted for you. Okay? Oh, we'll see you tomorrow. Really Hope to see you tomorrow, too. Until then, it's Jeff Edwards hoping the percentages are always in your favor. Bye-bye. Don't forget about it. Get that. This is the team, The big flavor side base is so quick, so easy. The winning shot there in the center of the plate is the first thing. Lycaroni to San Francisco Street. And lean hickory smoked sliced bacon from Raft. Get the smoke of the genuine hickory fire. The most flavorful bacon from Raft. Also, Nestle Ice Tea, 100% pure tea and food tea flavor that refreshes all year round. Many times a good time to take the Nestle plunge. But search the best mint to keep your mind off your mouth for an hour. Search now and snap the new cinnamon flavor. It's the game show that's too hot to handle. Deal out with hot potato. Next on USA, America's All Entertainment Network. This is Jack Perry and Dan Enright production. TV's hottest game show. Contestants get a chance to win the kind of money and prizes that gamblers dream about. It's the Joker's Wild. 
A fast-paced half hour of fun and excitement with Quizmaster Jack Barry handing out the money. Don't miss the thrills and suspense every weekday afternoon at 4 here on Channel 7. Proud as a peacock. Again to the Joker's Wild on our last program, we crowned a brand new champion, a very colorful, interesting fella who won three games, is winning over five thousand one hundred and seventy-five dollars, and is anxious to gain, get into game number four. Jay Stewart, tell us about the champion and the challenge. Okay, Jack, that current champion whose winnings total over five thousand one hundred dollars is a police officer and an attorney. That's Gene Dunker. And his opponent is a bookkeeper. Her interests are collecting books and gardening. Meet Loxie Miller. Loxie and Gene, nice to have you back with us on the program. Gene, I see you've got a different hat on this time. Yes, Jack, I do. This is out of your collection of seven or eight Western hats. Yes, Jack. And this is all because you love the lore of the Old West and you're a policeman and you're an attorney. Right. You really got the whole get-up on with the, with the, what do you call that thing, that classic? Uh, it's a bolo tie. tie. A bolo tie. Yes. Well, you're very colorful. Loxie, you. don't you think he looks very colorful? Yes, I do. Don't you think he looks handsome? Yes. Wouldn't you like to beat him? Yes. I thought so. <laughs> Well, Loxy Miller and Gene Drunk Dunker, let's take a look at the categories that'll be used in the game. Here they are. Categories are TV people. We'll show you some. You'll have to identify them. Origins of words, currency, bodies of water, and finally, quotations. Challenger goes first. Loxy, Loxy Miller, uh, as you know, you, uh, you appeared here once before on the program, and uh, so that's why your face is familiar to many people who I'm sure are watching. And as you know, we accepted a wrong answer, and then when we do something like that, we always bring the person, people back. I'm we think it's only fair. To be here. Well, we're Thank delighted you. to have you back here. And now let's see how you do in this new birth you have on the program. Give them a spin Thank and take you. a and Come see on, how you Jokers. do. Come on, Jokers. Quotation: Dark the words and a Joker. Jack, I'd like to try origin the words for 100, please. Okay. A type of heavy light brown or yellow paper takes its name from the Philippine seaport from where it was first shipped. Name this type of paper. Manila. Right. You have $100. <laughs> Gene Dunker, fourth game. Good luck. Jokers. 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 There you go, Jane. Once you had a black hat on, made you unlucky. Now you got a kind of a tan hat on, and this made you lucky. Right, Jack. Pick one category out of the five, answer it correctly, and you win your fourth game. Uh, I'll take quotations, please, Jack. All right, here's the question. Answer it right. You go to $500, you'll be winning over $5,600. Miss it. The game goes on as before. On July 20th, 1969, one modern American pioneer stepped onto the surface of the moon and said, that's one small step for man. One giant leap for mankind. For a grand total of $5,675, what's his last name? Armstrong. You win again. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Congratulations, Jane. Thank you, Jane. You're Jeff. now winning $5,675, and you'll get your fourth shot at the devil in just a moment. Well, Loxie, you're up once and you were defeated. We thought it wasn't fair the way you defeated. You came back, and this time, I think you were defeated very quickly and unfortunately. <laughs> but backstage will be some nice consolation prizes. Let's say goodbye to Loxie Thank Miller. You. We'll be back in Nancy Devil after this. of changing the roll? Make a really big change to Shaman Triple Roll. It's three times longer than a regular roll, so it lasts and lasts and lasts. Nothing lasts longer. 
and it's still so soft. Shaman Triple Roll. Nothing this soft lasts this long. After a bath, their skin is so soft and smooth. But after the diaper goes on, the day goes on. The freshness fades. So Pampers Premium added a new Gentle Touch Liner plus Aloe. Its special layer of protection helps keep skin softer and smoother than before. Pediatricians know healthy-looking skin is soft and smooth. So Pampers Premium created the Gentle Touch Liner plus Aloe. A diaper can make a difference. If it's new Pampers Premium, pamper the skin they're in. Did you know even the leading bar can take moisture away from your skin? But Oil of Olay 2-in-1 Moisturizing Body Wash actually puts moisture into your skin, improving tone and texture. Proven to moisturize better than the leading bar. Let me tell you about how UC Lending dug us out of a hole. We had so many bills, we could barely make our house payment. They needed to refinance. Because we didn't have great credit, getting a loan to pay off all those bills was out of the question. No, it wasn't. Then I saw this commercial for UC Lending. I called, and they put me in touch with Sandy. She drove out to our house and helped with the paperwork. That's my job. She put all our bills on one payment. We saved 300 a month. $300 a month. It was easy. She even got us some extra money to take this vacation we've been putting off. I love that part. Thanks to UC Lending, my family's getting to do something they've always wanted to do. If you own your home, call UC Lending now and let's see what we can do for you. Gene Dunker is the champion. He has won four games. If he could win one more game, he'd get this reward. It's a brand new car! The all-new Buick Skylark, designed for comfort and convenience with front-wheel drive, providing impressive control and traction, furnished by Buick. However, Jane, before we get to that fifth game, we have some unfinished business. The devil awaits. Come on over and beat him. Up on those wheels now, nothing but money and devils. Take a spin, avoid the devil, you get the money. Get to $1,000 or more, the 1000 is yours. If you don't see the devil, plus these lovely prizes. Gene, this bonus package is going to send you basking in the sun for hours and hours of fabulous fun. First, we're really going to send you sailing with your very own sailboat. That snark sunflower sailboat carries two adults or four children safely. Only weighs 45 pounds. It's safe and easily transportable. Sunflower furnished by Snark Products Incorporated. And when it's time to cool off, you'll get a splash out of this swimming pool. For helpful, relaxing fun, it's Muskin's Fairmont Swimming Pool. It measures 24 feet round and 4 feet deep and comes complete with filter, ladder, and accessories. The Fairmont by Muskin. And finally, Gene, now that you've enjoyed swimming at home, we're going to send you swimming on the beaches of Hawaii. The Paradise of the Pacific. Land of sugarcane, coconuts, and exotic flowers. Enjoy the golden beaches, the tropical sun, and island entertainment. While there, you'll stay at the Hanalei Bay Resort. You may relax in your condominium with the elegance and service of a luxury hotel. Dining, tennis, golf, pools, and beautiful beach furnished by Hanalei Bay Resort. This sun and fun package, Gene, is worth, in cash and prizes, over $3,700. And I saw some eyes light up, your two lovely daughters and your wife and mother and dad. Their eyes were lit up out there in the audience, hoping you'll go all the way. Give them a spin. 75, 200, 200. If you stop now, if you go on, the devil comes up, you lose it. No, we're, we're, we're going to go to Hawaii. All of you, eh? We're going to go. We're going to go. 75, 150, 50. Look at those kids out there. Boy, do they want to go to Hawaii. My wife says one time more, but uh, let's go. 25, 50. Alright, we're going to go. I'm going to go for it. You sure? Yeah, I'm gonna go for 975 it. 975 is a lot of money. I know, but a trip to Hawaii would be fabulous. My family deserves it. <laughs> so do you. Go ahead. Thank you, Jim. Come on. 50, 100, pick up! Congratulations, 
Thank you. Thank Here's you. your money. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000, 1,100, $1,150, plus the sailboat. What would you do with that? Oh, Jack, I've got a lot of bills after four years no, of No, I know. What did you just do with it just Oh, then? I just kissed the money. Oh. <laughs> Did you kiss Lincoln or Susan B. Anthony? Who uh, did Grant. You kiss? Grant, I yes. say, all right. He was uh, on the other side. But Grant, you yeah. kissed him. No, I say. Sailboat, <laughs> swimming pool, a trip to Hawaii, all these things plus the prizes and the money. You know you're just winning a little short of ten nine thousand five hundred and twenty five dollars. Love it, love it, love it. Have a ball. Your fifth game's coming up. Most important game is coming up for you, because now we approach the fifth game. As you know, if you could win this next game, you would collect not only the thousand dollars but a car. You'd be have winnings almost totaling twenty thousand dollars. Go out over and play the game. Play it carefully. All right, Jay Stewart. Fifth game coming up for Gene Dunker. Who shall he play against? Let's welcome a former speed reading teacher, Jack. Now she's a photographer. Meet Joanna Keller. Hi, old Joanna. Hi. You are in a big game here. Yes, I know. That guy wants to win the game so badly, he feels himself riding in that car already. I know, but I don't think he's going to get into it. Aha, uh -huh. we've got a match going on here now. <laughs> And you're a speed reading teacher? I used to be, Jack. Used to be. What's the first thing, what's the first thing you teach in speed reading? Uh, the first thing we teach is how to turn pages. <laughs> you ask a dumb question, that's the kind of answer you get. I remember many years ago, I read War and Peace. You know what a big volume that is? Mm -hmm. I read that book in two hours. In two hours? Two hours. I think it had something to do with Russia, but how would I know? I was rushing right through it. <laughs> <laughs> Communists. <laughs> We're delighted to have you here, Joanna. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Gene, I caution you now. Play very carefully. Try not to make any mistakes, misjudgments, or errors. Because if you win this game, you get the automobile prizes a thousand. You'll really win a bundle. Here then are the categories in this game. They are opera, followed by slang, Republicans, islands and famous trials. Those five categories can determine your fate, Gene, and yours as well, Joanna. Spin and good luck. Okay, come on, Jokers. Joker, opera, and Republicans. Uh, Jack, I'll take opera for $100. In one tragic opera, a Spanish soldier named Don Jose is rejected by a heartless gypsy girl. For $100, name the gypsy girl, and you've named the opera. Carmen. Right, for $100. Gene <laughs> Dunker, here you go. First spin on your way to a car, you hope. All right, three jokers again. Come on. Joker! Right. Joker! How could the wheels resist? He was yelling Joker so loud, they were afraid not to come up. <laughs> All you have to do to win an automobile is pick a category, answer a question, and you've got it made. Well, Jack, with famous trials being a category and me being an attorney, I can't resist it. I'm going to go for famous trials. That's right. As an attorney, that is too compelling. And here is the question on famous trials. Answer it, and the car is yours, and the money is yours, and a chance to go to fifteen, sixteen, or seventeen thousand dollars is yours. If you miss the question, the game goes on as before. Here it is. In a much publicized 1979 courtroom decision, a Hollywood actor was ordered to pay one hundred and four thousand dollars to his former lady friend Michelle Triola. You think you know this one, huh? Okay. I, I need for all this money the middle name. <laughs> I'm already teasing. 
<laughs> Don't do that. For over $15,000 in cash and prizes and a chance for another bonus game which could take you up to $20,000, give me the last name of the Hollywood star. Marvin. You've got it. Oh. Congratulations to you. Well done, Gene Dunker. What a look on your face when I said, give me the middle name. As an attorney, I figured that that was a kind of an easy question for you. Oh. But you've deserved it. You've played very well. You've answered a lot of questions. Your wife is with you. How do you feel, Mrs. Dunker? I can't talk. That's why I'm not up here to begin with. <laughs> that's not, uh, what? That's, that's why I don't come up on these things. I sit at home and get them all right, and somebody says, what's your middle name? And I forget it. <laughs> oh, you got scared when I asked him about the middle name. Yeah. You, you couldn't even help him, huh? Well, unfortunately, we've got a very depressed lady over there. Joanna, that yeah. was a quick game for you, it wasn't it? It certainly was. Well, I'm very, very sorry, but backstage, of course, will be some nice consolation prizes. We're delighted to have had you here. Thank it was you. a very enjoyable game. Let's Thank give you. a hand to all these fine <laughs> players. Merry Christmas to you. And welcome to our Christmas show from Colonial Williamsburg. On the first day of Christmas, a neighbor gave to me a candle to brighten my way. It's Perry Como's Early American on Christmas, now available Christmas for the first time ever on home video, featuring one of the last televised appearances of the legendary John Wayne. Merry Christmas, Perry. John, Merry Christmas to you. Good night. It's all your favorite Como Christmas classics. Good tidings for Christmas and a happy new year. And Mary and Christ were there on Christmas Day, on Christmas Day. The this video alone will make your spirits bright throughout the holidays. But there's more. This first-time TV offer includes another video premiere, Perry's song-filled Christmas in the Holy Land. $24.95 is all you pay for both videos. Co-star Richard Chamberlain and Perry take you to Galilee, Jerusalem, and Bethlehem, the birthplace of Christmas. So have a very Perry Christmas. Call now for these two Como Classic videos. And remember, they make perfect stocking stuffers, too. In fact, order now and you'll get this special gift box free. There's no club to join and your satisfaction is guaranteed. Call now. That's what it's all about, folks. Peace on Earth, goodwill towards men. Have your credit card ready and call 1-800-487-9966 to order both Perry Como Christmas videos for just $19.95 plus shipping and handling. The gift box is free. No CODs, please. Or send check or money order to the address on your screen. That number again is 1-800-487-9966. Some of our departing contestants will receive some of the following rally car wax from DuPont. It'll take your car from dull to dazzling in minutes. Rally, there's no faster wax on wheels. And Zeus, the incredible airless bicycle tire. No tubes, no air, can't go flat, can't blow out. Zeus, airless tires, they'll never let you down. Also, a supply of Flavor Aid that makes you glad you're thirsty. Six delicious flavors. One package makes two big quarts. Flavor Aid. Back now, Jack Berry. Well, we have a very happy couple, Mr. and Mrs. Gene Dunker. Gene, I understand that uh, you studied at night in order to go as a, and you were working as a policeman at the time. That's right, Jack. And studied at night, went to school at night, and became an attorney. That's right, Jack. Well, that's terrific. And I'm Thank sure you. many of your friends who are watching, your legions of friends who know how hard you work to become an attorney, are delighted in your victory. And I'm going to ask you and your wife to come on over here for the fifth time and try to win some more prizes. Come on over. I'll tell you, we have a very unusual thing. We're going to start this bonus game off by showing you this lovely watch right here. Is this beautiful watch. Okay? And now that you have a little time on your hands, here's Jay Stewart with a timely announcement about this bonus game just for you. Okay, Jack and Gene, time does march on right into your living room with this beautiful grandfather clock. 
Hamilton's Oakmont Grandfather Clock. A classic grandfather clock in solid oak and masked veneers featuring triple chimes and eight-day weight and chain-driven movement. Furnished by Hamilton Watch Corporation. And Gene, we're going to surround that classic clock with this lovely contemporary living room furniture Ooh. from Roy Hill's Runyon Collection. The loose pillow standing gives you beauty with comfort. Sofa, love seat, and chair with complimentary cocktail and end table by Roy Hill. This da lovely living room package, Gene, is worth in cash and prizes. Over $3,650. Gene, an interesting, an interesting thought occurred to me. You remember, you know, you just won the beautiful car. Yes, you remember sir. a few games back, you won 500 gallons of gas? That's right. Isn't and a that... CB to stick in the car. Isn't it all going to come into good use? <laughs> yes. Well, this time, if you can avoid that devil and get to $1,000, you will win all these lovely prizes, which would bring you up almost to $19,000 in cash and prizes. Ooh. Who's going to spin the wheels? You do it. Uh, okay. <laughs> Here comes the first spin. 125 $175. The kids are out there. Don't raise money. I want you to do it. Can we do it or you? Okay. Your turn. One more time, Jack. One hundred, one fifty, seventy-five. No, no, Jack. I'm, I'm, we're going to stay right. I'm going to hold right here. I have. Yeah. We've got a lot of bills from law school, and I'm. We need the money. Okay. Here's a man got bills from law school. He's going to stop with seven hundred twenty-five dollars. Uh, I tell you, I'm going to have you spin this once more just for the fun of it. But let me give you your money first. One hundred. 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 720, 725, bringing your total winnings now up to $16,050. Now, this doesn't count, but just to see if the kids were right, because your kids out there wanted you to go, you decided your instincts told you not to go, you're afraid the devil might be coming up. One free spin doesn't cost you anything. We'll see what would have happened. Okay. Go for it. <laughs> 150. Ah, oh, you would have gone over the top, but you elected to stay safe. So you've got sixteen thousand and fifty dollars. Mrs. Duncan, go out back out in the audience and have a good time. There she goes. And you go back over and good luck in your next you, game. Jean. Nice hand for Jean. Here comes game number six for Jean Dunker, played against this challenger. Jack, I'd like you to meet the librarian. Her interests are roller skating, camping, and her sister Nancy. Meet Susan Coram. Hi, Susan. Nice to have you here. Thank you. What is this big interest in your sister? I think it's lovely, but and why? What's the special reason? Well, we grew up together. We share similar interests. She married one of my favorite friends from high school, and coincidentally, our children look very much the same, but we are also identical twins. Oh, twins. Is she out here in the audience? She sure is. Which, where is your sister? In a yellow Where are your sister? Oh, right there. Oh, well, you have different hair, do Oh, I see they look alike. Yeah, they sure look alike. Even, even with the different hairdos, the, the smile and the face is all there. Everything's the same. Are you two girls? close in addition to being identical twins? We're very close. In fact, we share a certain ESP. I often feel her things. Like what? We I, were... uh, what does that mean, you feel her things? <laughs> <laughs> we were boating on Lake Arrowhead last summer and had an accident, and she hurt her leg, and I felt the pain, and in fact, limped to the hospital. And then when she had her baby and was in delivery, I had her labor pains. <laughs> I bet you... Hope she doesn't have any more babies, huh? <laughs> In any event, we're going to do a time check now to see if there's time to play the game between you and our champion. We'll give you the results of that right after these words. It is America's promise that every child will have someone who loves them. That they will have a place that's safe. It's a promise that good health will be a right, not an option. It's a promise of opportunity. It's a promise of hope. That's why Kellogg is keeping America's promise. Will you? 
six and we took you to McDonald's for your birthday party. All the kids, all the fun. All for you, son. For you. Remember that day, son? Remember when someone stole your fries, but we never found out who? Never found out. It was him. Did somebody say McDonald's? This may surprise you, but there are places this toothbrush just can't reach. Under a special light, you can see these places where many problems can start. So you need multiple kinds of protection. You need this. New Crest Multicare, a great new crest. New Crest Multicare has a powerful foam that penetrates into tiny crevices to help fight ugly tartar in cavities. And it even kills bacteria to help your teeth feel clean. Get multiple kinds of protection. Get New Crest Multicare. You know how your period can start off really heavy and then end up kind of light? Only Tampax makes the different absorbencies I need. All in one box. The Tampax Multipack. Making periods more convenient. One box at a time. Tampax. Women know. Are you one of the nearly 40 million Americans who are affected with arthritis? Are you tired of the false promises offered by miracle cures and treatments? Are you ready to learn the truth about managing your arthritis? Then it's time you started reading Arthritis Today magazine, your source for help and hope. Presented in a bold, colorful, easy-to-understand style, every issue is packed with fascinating articles about the latest advances in research and medical treatments, practical tips for living better every day, plus dramatic stories of how people have changed their lives. Find out how you can receive Arthritis Today magazine in your home by calling the number on your screen now. And as a special gift just for calling, we'll send you our most popular brochure, 101 Tips for Living Better with Arthritis, absolutely free. This handy guide is full of practical advice to help you live better every day, and it's yours free when you call. Isn't it time to take charge of your arthritis? Call now. Attention Game Show Network viewers. Stay tuned for a tic-tac-toe followed by the new newlywed game. Then, the new dating game. Over and out. Susan and Jean, we're fresh out of time, so we'll have to play your game in the next program. You both be back? Yeah. Definitely. Very good. Jeff. We'll yeah. welcome you then. We'll show you the categories. And Jean, again, our heartiest congratulations for winning five games and for winning over $16,000. We'll be interested in seeing how far you can go. For all of us here on the Joker's Wild, Jack Berry inviting you to come back to see how Gene can do against Susan Corn. Bye-bye, everybody. Thank you for watching. Some of our departed contestants will receive some of the following. Hormel ham. Add the great taste of Hormel ham to your favorite meals. The delicious easy way with Hormel ham patties. And new low-calorie lemon tree lemonade flavored drink mix. A delicious lemonade taste without all the calories. Low-calorie lemon tree. New from Lipton. Also off with the most effective mosquito repellent ingredient money can buy. Plus a grease shampoo. Cleans deep down on the scalp where the greasies begin. So hair stays clean longer. Use a grease shampoo. And coil magic. That's to build up on air conditioning coils. Apply directly or use this garden sprayer. Coil magic saves energy as it cleans. Also, try mild palm olive dishwashing liquid. Palm olive softens your hands while you do dishes, and it makes loads of thick, long-lasting suds.
Join the fun and excitement as contestants win thousands of dollars in cash and prizes on the new Tic Tac Doe. Host Week Martindale is on hand to ask the questions as the players match wits and luck to register their X's and O's on the huge electronic game board. Pure enjoyment is your bonus on Tic Tac Doe. Weeknights at 7.30 here on Channel 7. Proud as a peacock. I uh, just met a new opponent who is a Marine. Let's meet them both right now. First, our champion. Our current champion, whose winnings total in cash and prizes, $76,950, has been a furniture mover, a bartender, and an amateur stuntman, meet John Wells. And his opponent is a second lieutenant in the Marine Corps, and he and his wife recently had their first baby, meet Mike Michalowicz, Jr. <laughs> I think perhaps the obvious thing to ask is, do you guys go to the same barber? But that couldn't be because this man is a Marine. And uh, how you doing, Tiger? Pretty good. When you walk out, I feel like I should salute. Boy, look at the. Don't you? Don't you just think that the Marines have one of the most gorgeous uniforms of of any in the entire world of all armed services? Just beautiful. Mike, you're stationed at Camp Pendleton, correct? Yeah. You had just, uh, he's very soft-spoken, very soft-spoken. Let me try that again. I just expect when I ask a Marine a question, yes, Wink, that's correct. You're uh, stationed at Camp Pendleton, right? Yes, Wink, that's correct. Very good, very good. Mike, very good. You, Marine, he follows instructions very well. Hello, John. Hello, Wink. Welcome back. He Thank has you. won thus far $76,950 in cash and prizes. And you won a car on the last show. Sure did. And we found out from you that is going to come in extremely handy. It sure is. You ready to get another game underway? Let's go. All right, let's do it right now. <laughs> All of you remember, if you were watching on the last show, uh, the game was interrupted when time ran out. The categories were as follows. We were using finish the list, four questions, men of the sea, Dan's and Don's, famous movies, China, numero uno, funny men, fairy tales, and secret category. That can be any category at all. Answer a uh, question correctly in that category and the pot will double. On the last show, we ended before Mike had a chance to play in that first round, so we'll start with Mike today. First, let's shuffle the categories and then Mike, you can select. Thus far, one X on the board, of course, that belongs to John, $200 in the pot. Mike, where would you like to move with your first O? Well, I'll take uh, famous movies in the center. All right, famous movies in the center. It's worth $300 to the pot, Mike. Listen. First, take a look at this picture. These are the two comedy stars of a popular 1979 movie. I want you to name both of them, and I'll give you a few extra seconds to think about your answer. The two comedy stars of a popular movie in 1979, Mike. Name both of them. Uh, Shirley MacLaine? Yeah. No guess? Peter Sellers. Yeah, the great Peter Sellers, the stars of the movie being there. 200 in the pot. Let's shuffle the categories again and move back to John. All right, John, you got one X. Try to make it two. I had pretty fair luck with Dan's and Don's before, so I think I'll go there. Dan's and Don's. John, actor Don Stroud starred as one of the crickets, and Gary Busey played the title role in this film biography of a rock and roll legend. Name him. Uh, Buddy Holly? Yes, that's correct. Another X on the board, another shuffle will take place now. Another two hundred dollars in the pot. All righty, Mike. Well, I guess I got to take fairy tales for the block. Yeah, for a block up there of John, Mike. Answer this on fairy tales. In this Grimm's fairy tale, an evil queen often asks her magic mirror the question, "Who is the fairest of us all?" For a block, name this fairy tale. Yes, Snow White. Snow White. Well, listen, that's not something they teach you in the Marine Corps. You got You just got to know that. Let's move the categories around. $400 in the pot. All righty, John. Well, 
Oh, I have no idea what's there, but I'll go for the win with the secret category. All right, John, the secret category is English legends. English legends. Answer this question correctly, and the pot will double to $800. Answer this correctly, of course, and you will also have a win and a grand total in cash and prizes of $77,750. John, English legends. According to English legends, this king proved his royal birthright by pulling the sword Excalibur from a magical stone. For a grand total of $77,750, name this legendary king. That was Arthur. Yes, King Arthur. <laughs> Tic -tac -toe. So, John, as we see the total, 77,700, you're approaching 800 or 80,000 very, very fast. Perhaps you can hit that if you beat the dragon, which will be, uh, you'll be trying to do shortly. Congratulations to you. Thank you. $77,750. I thought the Marines had landed, though. Yeah, well, listen, my, it was a short game with you, Mike, but we do have a couple of nice prizes, and our thanks for being with us on Tic-Tac-Toe. Let's have a nice round of applause for Mike Bahalovich, Jr., new father. We'll be right back to see if John can beat the dragon right after these words. If you defeat four more opponents for a total of ten, you'll get another one. What is it, Bob? It's a brand new car! Century two door coupe, a size personal luxury car with a spacious, comfortable interior and classic exterior. The Century two door coupe by Buick. In addition, great reflections gives your car the 2020 shine. It shines so deep down clear, it's a perfect vision. Great reflections from DuPont. Now, back to you, Wink. And now, John, let's see if we can beat the dragon. Come on over here and join me, will you please? All righty. Behind these numbers are various amounts of money and a dragon. And, of course, all you have to do is get to $1,000 or more on the board, and you win a nice prize package. You're aware of that, but you're not aware of what we're going to lay on you this time, I'll tell you. We're going to give you gifts to keep you very, very entertained and to tell you exactly what we have in mind. Here's Bob Hilton. Well, first, John, you can enjoy fine musical entertainment with this deluxe stereo. Sound Design's new vertical integrated audio unit combines the look of beautiful furniture with an exciting, complete home stereo system from Sound Design. And the whole family can join in the fun when you enjoy your new $900 pool table. The Wellington model from Golden West Billiards of North Hollywood. A regulation slate table complete with a deluxe accessory package for your playing enjoyment. And say you can have a lot of fun playing a variety of games with this unusual game carpeting. A floors that teach carpet. Colorful nylon cut pile and a variety of fun games including crosswords, checkers, and scramble furnished by floors that teach. Finally, John, you can enjoy fine video entertainment with your deluxe remote control color TV. The beautiful RCA Contura. It's RCA's color track remote control television for television at its best. This entertainment package is worth, in cash and prizes, over $3,950. I was taking a look at that TV before we started. What a gorgeous television set. Now, avoid the dragon or you lose everything. Get the tick and the tack and you automatically get the dough. Let's cover them up, move them around on the board. Nine big numbers. Could be very important numbers for you to win those goodies. Oh, same tactic. Tell me which one to avoid, Sharon. All right, let's go out here to the audience. He's got a lot of people, out there, especially those people in the front row. Okay, I'm going to start with number two. Now, Sharon says avoid number two, right? right that's right. So but I'm you're going to... No, Sharon says avoid another number. Oh, I see. All right, number two, good for $100. All righty. You going to go back to Sharon? Oh, she's already made hers. So I'm going to look around here. Number seven. Number seven on the board. What's behind number seven? To go with $100, we find $250. You got $350. Keep it going. No dragon. Keep it going. Number four. Lucky number four above the $250, below one. To go with $350. Four gives us three hundred dollars. We got six fifty. Getting closer. Mm -hmm. Boy, I see a number three. Number three, it is. All right, he needs three fifty. Let's look behind number three. Is it a four hundred dollar bill? Yeah, you're a winner. You have a lot of people out there. You know, your group increased considerably over the last couple of shows. As my total and winnings went up, so did my friends. Friends get bigger and yeah. bigger and bigger. All right, let's look at the rest of the board. Where was the dragon? You're getting extremely lucky at this behind number nine. 
All right, let's see now. Your grand total in cash and merchandise, including that beautiful television, all those goodies, you realize you're over 80000 now? Mm. The exact total, $81,850. Outstanding work. Get back over there now. Let's get another game underway. All right, John, here we go. Bob Hilton, who do we have to take him on in a new game of tic-tac-toe? She's a retail merchandiser whose interests include skiing, needlepoint, and reading tarot cards. Meet Debbie Russell. Hiya, Debbie. Hello there. Gee, you have so much charm and vim and vigor. You, you can hardly wait to get out here, right? Right. You know John, you just said hello to him, shook his hand. Tell me about your tarot card. Tarot is an ancient form of fortune-telling wink that can be traced back to early Egypt. And uh, the way the cards are dealt out tells the past, the present, and the future. And all this really works? Well, it may work, but I don't do it very well, Wink, so it never works for me. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't say it works, she just likes to involve yeah. herself in it. Well, I uh, happen to have a knack for predicting the future myself, Debbie. Do you? Yeah, right. How do you do that? Uh, let's see. I see right now nine categories and an exciting <laughs> game of tic-tac-toe. Let's see if I'm right. Woo! Is that amazing? Is that amazing? Utterly amazing. Heroes, villains, maps of nations, plays, fashions, football, names the same, animal stars, and art. All righty, John, there they are. Let's begin. I think I'll start with heroes in the top left, please. Heroes, here's the question, John. This legendary hero was an American lumberjack with incredible strength. He had a giant blue ox named Babe and a crew of resourceful helpers. Name him. Paul Bunyan. Yes, that's uh, correct. Put an X there. Paul Bunyan. Let's move the categories around. Throw $200 in the pot and make that grow, Debbie. Well, let me try heroes again in the center box. Or $300 to the pot. Heroes again. In his first heroic speech... As Prime Minister, Winston Churchill said he had but four things to offer the British people. Two of them were blood and toil. And I want you, after you think about this for a few seconds, tell me the other two. <laughs> Debbie, four things to offer the British people. Winston Churchill gave these in his first heroic speech. Two were blood and toil. What were the other two? Sweat and tears? Yes, that's right. Blood, toil, sweat and tears. Put an O there. Let's shuffle the categories. $500 in the pot now. All right, John. Well, let's stay with heroes in the lower left. All place. right, third time in that category. John, the legendary last words of this American revolutionary hero were, I only regret that I have but one life to lose for my country. Name him. That was Hale. Yes, Nathan Hale. Put an X there. Let's shuffle again. We now have another $200 in the pot, taking it to 700 Debbie. Let me try plays for the block, please. All right, the block, John, answer this one on plays. Kabuki drama is a traditional form of theater in this foreign country. For a block, name this country. Japan. Yes, you blocked him with Japan. Put it over there. Let's shuffle again. $900 in the pot. John? Well, it's been good to me, so I'll stay with heroes to block, please. Three times for you in that category for a block. According to legend... The national hero of Switzerland was a skilled archer who killed the evil tyrant Gessler and led the Swiss people in a national revolt. To block Debbie, name him. That was Tell. Yes, William Tell. <laughs> You're blocked with William Tell. Put an X there. Four boxes left, Debbie. Let's shuffle. Two hundred more dollars in the pot. Debbie? Let me try uh, football in the Gonna top Going to go with center. football? Uh -huh. All righty. Here's the question in that category. One hard-hitting NFL team plays its home games in the city of brotherly love and features such players as Wilbert Montgomery and Ron Jaworski. Debbie, name that team. The Eagles. Yes, the Philadelphia Eagles. Another O on the board, another $200 in the pot. Three boxes are left. Let us shuffle. John, pick one. Must be fate. Uh, heroes to block, please. You haven't gotten away from that one, have you? It's okay. Every time. Yeah, so far, so good. To block Debbie, John, answer this on heroes. This military hero, who was the most decorated soldier of World War II, starred in the film version of his autobiography entitled To Hell and Back. To block Debbie, name him. Audie Murphy. Yes, good for a block. Put an X there. And another $200 in the pot. Players, we're down to two boxes. The categories that show up will decide if we have a win or a tie. Let's shuffle. Debbie. Plays in the lower right to block. Plays, bottom right. Answer this, and you'll block John, and we'll have a tie game, Debbie. This American playwright 
won the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1936. His works include The Iceman Cometh and Long Day's Journey Into Night. For a tie, name him. Eugene O'Neill. Yes, we have a tie. There it is. Put it over. there. So Debbie Russell and John Walsh, or Welch, are going to be going at it again. Tie game with $1,700 in the pot. We're going to take a commercial break, and then we'll show you nine new categories and a brand new game. Dick Tattoo. We'll be back. There are 21. $1,700 we're playing for now as we begin this game of tic-tac-toe. Com subjects are comic books, jumbled words, Washington, D.C., famous actors, Africa, strange names, quotes, female singers, and general science. John, begin, please. Well, it's a toss-up on the bottom, but I think I'll start with quotes in the uh, lower left, please. Quotes it shall be. John, during this war, naval officer David Farragut won fame with his quote, damn the torpedoes, Captain Drayton, full steam ahead. Name this war. War of 1812? No, Civil War. Okay. The Civil War. Let's shuffle the categories around. Still 1,700 to pot, Debbie, and your turn to put an O up there. Okay, let me try uh, jumbled words, please. Jumbled no, words. Debbie, take a look at this mixed up word. Unscramble the letters to reveal a form of shopping that doesn't cost any money. Window. Yes, window <laughs> shopping. Wow. Put an O there. Let's shuffle again. $200 added to the pot takes it up to $1,900. John? Let me try jumbled words in the center, please. In the center, jumbled words. John, take a look at these mixed up words, please. Unscramble the letters to reveal the names of two popular holidays. Here's your extra time. John, unscramble the letters to reveal the names of a couple of popular holidays. Uh, the first one is Easter. Yeah. And the second is Halloween. Yes, that's right. And that goes in the center box. We move the categories around. $300 in the pot. Takes it to $2,200 for you, Debbie. Go. Let me take strange names in the lower right, please. Debbie, here's the question. A popular comedian named Sid has a last name which sounds like an ancient Roman leader. Name him. Sid Caesar. Yes, that's right. Put it over there. Let's shuffle. $2,400 we're playing for as we move the categories around and get back to Big John. John Well. Oh, has to be famous actors to block, please. Famous actors to block. Got you on the defensive. Nearly 25 years after his tragic death, he still remains a Hollywood legend, John. His films include Giant, East of Eden, and Rebel Without a Cause. For a block, name this legendary actor. James Dean. Yes, correct. James Dean for a block. Let's shuffle again. $200 added to the pot, and we move back to Debbie Russell. Yeah, I need to block with comic books, Wink. All right, to block him, Debbie. Al Cap's famous comic book and comic strip character was Dog Patch's local Yoakum and the heartthrob of the beautiful Daisy May. For a block, name him. Little Abner. Yeah, Little Abner Yoakum. Good for a block. Put an O there. Four boxes left. Let's shuffle. Four boxes left on the board. $2,800 in the pot. I believe I'll go with uh, jumbled words, please. Jumbled words again. John, take a look at this mixed up word, please. Unscramble these letters to reveal the name of something many of us live on. It's what I don't have, credit. Right, credit. You don't even need any more credit for the money you're winning. Put an X there. Another $200 in the pot. Players, there are three boxes left. The categories that'll show up will decide who wins and who loses. Let's shuck. Debbie. Comic books to block. Again, for a block on comic books, Debbie, answer this. In Disney comic books, Donald Duck has three mischievous nephews. One of them is Huey, for a block, name another. Dewey. Yeah, <laughs> Dewey, Louie, and Huey. Good for a block. Put it over there. Another $200 in the pot. Players, we're down to two boxes. The categories in them will decide what happens to you in the game. Let's shuffle. John? I must take comic books to block and tie. All right, answer this, and we will have a second tie between you and Debbie. John, here's the question on comic books for a tie. The title character of this comic book is an Army soldier whose life at Camp Swampy is complicated by Sergeant Orville Snorkel and a dog named Otto. For a tie game, name this comic soldier. Beetle Bailey. Yes, we have another tie between John and Debbie. All right.
right, we put an X there, and another $200 the pot takes it to $3,400. We'll take a break and then come back with some new categories as we continue with Tic Tac Joe. <laughs> color to this dark green the light green in fact john looked at her dress a few minutes ago and said she came out here green with envy no doubt about it that lady is envious well how do you feel you've been out here a few minutes now you've adjusted to the uh to the territory you've tied once here and uh you seem to be doing very well it's a little bit easier a little easier than you thought it'd be yes huh? all right tell me that later on the next show right. <laughs> We'll find out how easy on the next program. Congratulations again to you, John. $81,850 in cash and merchandise as he continues to try to build from that. I'm Rick Martindale for Tic Tac Toe. Bye-bye, everybody. There are 21 reasons to watch Catch 21. Yes! Reason number 17, Mickey Padilla. Well, you are my queen of hearts. Reason number 11, you can play from home. You can catch it anytime online for free. Reason number 5, Sweet Revenge. I am passing the card to Pat and busting you out. But the best reason to watch is Big Big Money. You win $55,000! Catch 21 tonight at 7.30, 6.30 Central, only on GSN. Coming to CBN Cable, join host Ron Ely as contestants try to match melodies with famous personalities. If you knew Susie. If you knew Susie is right, who are we looking for? Suzanne Summers. Suzanne Summers is right. You will win, as Marilyn has done, $10,000 in prizes. It's fun. It's exciting. It's Space the Music. Weekdays at 4.30 Eastern, beginning July 2nd on CBN Cable. The Lincoln You've Never Seen. A father and son story you'll never forget. Chris Christopherson, Jane Curtin, and Bug Hall in the world premiere motion picture, Tad. Sunday night at 7 on the Family Channel. Can you identify this baby picture of a famous person? Two contestants will try for $10,000 in cash on Face the Music. and gentlemen, welcome to Face the Music, where in our championship game we will play for $10,000 in cash, and you'll see a famous person grow up right before your very eyes, but that comes later. Right now, I'd like you to meet our champion, Ed McDevitt, who is a library technical assistant from San Francisco. Hi, Ed, welcome back. <laughs> Tonight, Ed will once more have a chance to win $10,000 in cash in the championship game, and his opponent will be one of these three people. Let's meet these contestants right now, starting with the lady on the end. Hi. Hi, my name is Christy King, and I'm originally from Portland, Oregon, now living here in L.A., and I'm interior decorator. Hi, Christy. It's nice Hi. to have you with us. Thank you. Ron, how are you? Hi, my Don. name is Don Berdusis. I was born and raised in San Francisco. I reside in Pleasanton, and I'm an insurance broker. Well, it's nice to know you, Don. Welcome aboard. And this lovely lady. Hello, Hi. Ron. I'm Vi Marillis. I'm from Danville, California, and I'm a housewife. Well, it's nice to see you, Vi. Thank you. for Vivian? Yeah, Vi. 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 Well, good luck to all of you contestants. Now, in game number one today, you'll see a series of pictures of famous people. you hear a song directly related to one of those famous faces. And in order to score in this first game, contestants, you have to put the right face with the music. Got it? Okay. Ah, that's good. Let's see those famous faces. <laughs> Music, please, Tommy Oliver. What do we got, Christy? Tiny Bubbles. Tiny Bubbles looking for. Oh, God. Um. Right up. 
You got it in there. Long throw, 10 points for Christie. Music, please, Tommy. What do you got, Johnny? I got uh, 16 times. 16 times looking for. Tennessee, Tennessee looking, looking for. You got it, 10 points. 10 points for Christie, 10 points for Don Knows. Points are important to you contestants because the two of you with the highest score at the end of our second game will face each other to see which one faces our champion for how much, by $10,000. Oh. <laughs> $10,000. Let's see those faces one last time. <laughs> Music, Tommy, please. <laughs> From Dallas, we were looking for Patrick Duffy. Next song, Tommy. What do we got, Chris? I got it. <laughs> <laughs> what do we got? A little late, but I got it. The most beautiful girl in the world. The most beautiful girl in the world. We are looking for. Bert. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Not... That might be a little touchy for him right now. Not Bert Fox. We're looking for Lee Merriweather, who I think was a former Miss America. Next clue, Tommy, please. I'm Henry the Eighth. I am. You're right. Looking for <laughs> Henry Fun. Next clue, Tommy. <laughs> what do you got, John? I got the theme from Mork and Robin Williams. Robin Williams. <laughs> the the whole uh, title of that show is what, uh, Don? Mork and. Mork and Mindy. Mork and Mindy and Robin Williams, you got it. Let's see how many points they got there. Ten points for Christy, 20 points for Don. Buys yet to score, but that's the end of game one, contestants. All three of you will do battle in game number two. However, only two of these contestants will survive to play game number three. And we're going to find out which two that will be right after this. It's romance and adventure in an untamed land. Snowy River, the McGregor Saga. Saturday and Sunday at 6, only on the Family Channel. You ever have odor problems with your scoopable litter? Oh, why? No. What? You need new Fresh Step Scoop. It's 100% scoopable clay for clumps that let you scoop odor away. Now, isn't that fresh? Mm -hmm. New Fresh Step Scoop. Hey, you said something down. <laughs> Jen, not again. Cappuccino lady. She has a cappuccino machine. Vanilla cappuccino, only from Maxwell House. Mm. Delicious. I swear, Rose, one day I'll catch you cheating. Maxwell House cappuccino, the magic without the machine. You know what it's like when you go to the drugstore. You take your prescription in, and then you wait and wait. Prescription for Wesley. Oh, here. Not at the medicine shop pharmacy. We guarantee fast, friendly service. In fact, if you don't receive your prescription in 15 minutes or less, we'll give you a $2 credit. The medicine shop is what a pharmacy was meant to be. Get a free phone card worth 10 minutes of free long-distance calls with any new or transferred prescription. See your medicine shop pharmacy for details. Let yourself feel how you want to feel. 1-800-94-JENNY. We're right here by your side and we're for real. 1-800-94-JENNY. The sooner you start, the sooner you'll begin to lose weight. So pick up the phone and call 1-800-94-JENNY now. You won't just lose your weight. 1-800-94-JENNY. For the first six weeks of life, there's no cat food more perfect than mother's milk. After that, there's no cat food more perfect than whiskers. That's when a cat's needs change, and that's where you come in. Like mother's milk, whiskers is nutritionally complete and has the bodybuilding vitamins, minerals, and proteins that vets recommend. Something any mother would approve of. Whiskers picks up where mother leaves off. Thank you, Jay Williams. Welcome back. 
to game two of Face the Music. Right now we have three contestants, but when time is up at the end of this game, only the two high scores will continue. Now, contestants, this game, Tommy Oliver and the band are going to play some songs for you, and it's the titles of those songs that will be important to you because those titles will lead you to the identity of a famous person, place, thing, whatever. You got it, Vi? I got it! <laughs> okay, great. This, this first round... Oh, before we go into that, let me tell you that uh, each uh, correct answer is going to be worth some points to you this time. 20 to be exact. Good news for you, Vi, because you haven't scored yet. We have Christy with 10 points. Don, a strong insurance broker with, uh, with 20 points, who's already broken his podium twice. Looking for a famous person this first round. Past to present, remember contestants. First clue, Tommy. What have you got, Bob? Every time it rains, it rains pennies from heaven. Pennies from heaven, looking for what famous person? Oh, oh dear. <laughs> First, next clue, Tommy. What have you got, Bob? My old Kentucky home. My old Kentucky home. Before that, you heard pennies from heaven looking for a famous person. I think it's Abe Lincoln. You are right. Oh. Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> well, that brings Vi up into the game with 20 points. She shares the lead with Don, who has 20 points. Christy is in third place with 10 points now, looking for an event this time. Contestants, here's Tommy with your first close. <laughs> what have you got? Spanish eyes. Spanish eyes is right. Looking for what event? Oh, da 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> what did she mean by that? Oh. Next clue, Tommy. <laughs> what have you got, Bob? Toreador. Toreador, March of the Toreadors. Before that, you heard Spanish eyes. Looking for what event? A bullfight. You are right. A bullfight. 40 points for Bob. She came from behind and moved into the lead in a hurry. Now, contestants, we're looking for a fictional group now, and here's Tommy with your first clue. What do we got, Bob? We're going to go through it together. Together, okay. Together, wherever we go, is, is what we're looking for, a fictional group. The Seven Dwarfs. You are right. Oh. Did you go to the Seven Dwarfs from together wherever we go? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> if you don't know, it, well, it was, uh, it was, it was excellent. <laughs> Looking for a famous person this time, first clue, Tommy. What have you got, Vi? With a song in my With heart. With a song in my heart. Looking for what famous person? Uh, Jane Froman? Not Jane Froman. Next clue, Tommy. <laughs> Christy. What have you got, uh, Christy? Two, two, two plus two? The correct title of that is I Am Woman. Before that, you heard for the song in my heart. Christy, you guessed yourself into a penalty. You'll be out of the next musical clue. For you, Don, by next clue, Tommy. What have you got, by? When the moon comes over the mountain. When the moon comes over the mountain is right. You heard for the song in my heart, I Am Woman. When the moon comes over the mountain, looking for what famous person? Kate. You are right, Kate Smith. You're back in now, Christy. And there's the bell that signals time up. We have Vi with 80 points, Don with 20 points, Christy with 10 points. Don, Vi, you go on to the next game. Christy. Say goodbye to you now, but we have some lovely gifts for you backstage. Thanks for being with us, Christy. John, congratulations. You're our high scores. And in the next game, just one of you two will earn the right to defeat against our champion for $10,000 in cash. And we'll play that game right after this. You touch it. It's alive. It's mildew. And cleaning it isn't enough. You have to kill it with Tylex. Tylex's disinfecting formula kills mildew and destroys its stain. Kill mildew with Tylex. Now at a new low price. Okay, 
talk. Today we're going to fix a nice little salad. How about that? Remember that little salad from high school? It became fun, and accordingly, so did the salad dressing. Now there's new Kraft Catalina with honey. Unlike your usual dressing, Kraft adds honey to its tangy Catalina for a sweeter taste that's really different. Just like that nice little salad of yours. Now salads are fun. So is new Kraft Catalina with honey, the fun way to dress. Could you describe the taste of apple cinnamon Cheerios? Mmm. It's not exactly apple cinnamon. It's more of a cinnamony apple. No, it's... Mm. Delicious, but in a different sort of a way. Do you know what I mean? It's crunchy. <gasps> it's on the tip of my... It's cinnamonious. I, I would say... An apple or two of cinnamonious. Definitely. Cinnamon apple-ish. Does that make sense? One bite and the taste will tell you how good it is. Apple cinnamon Cheerios. It's different in a delicious sort of way. Dear Nordic Truck, 11 years ago, my husband and I realized we had to do something about the way we looked and felt. Frank had high blood pressure. I needed to lose some weight. Our doctor recommended we buy a Nordic Truck, and we did. I can't imagine living these past 11 years without it. Frank's blood pressure is down, and both of us lost weight. But the real miracle is how we feel, and all the things we love to do that we never even considered before Nordic Truck. So, even though I have wanted to write and thank you for a long time, the real reason for this letter is that I wish to order a Nordic Truck for my daughter. She wants to lose a few pounds and feel like her old active self again. You see, she just gave us a beautiful new grandson. February is American Heart Month, and there's no better time to start a fitness program. The American Heart Association and Nordic Track remind you that a fitness program is one of the best ways to help reduce your risks of heart disease. Call today for your free video and brochure. Thank you, Jay. Welcome back to game three of Face the Music. Right now we have two contestants, but when time is up, the end of this game, only the one with the highest score will go on to face our champion for $10,000 in cash. We have Don with 20 points. We have Vi with 80 points. This time, contestants, our musical puzzles will be worth 30 points. Good news to you, Don. This time, in this very first round, we're looking for a famous person. Remember, that's past or present. And here's Tommy with that first clue. What have you got, Vi? Teeny, weeny, bikini. Dot, polka dotted. Teeny. Can you give itsy, me the correct title of it? Itsy bitsy teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikini. You are right. Itsy bitsy teeny weeny <laughs> yellow polka dot bikini. We are looking for what famous person? Mary Tyler Moore. Not Mary. <laughs> not Mary Tyler Moore. Next clue, Tommy. <laughs> what have you got, Bob? I left my heart in. It is not, I left my heart in Don. What is it, Don? <laughs> Avalon. Itsy bitsy teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikini. Contestants, from time to time to help you along, Lisa will sing the lyrics to certain songs, which may also include the title. Listen closely while Lisa sings for you. Rock and Roll Party Queen is the title of that. First song you heard was Itsy Bitsy Teeny Weeny Yellow Polka Dot Bikini. You heard Avalon, and then you heard the Rock and Roll Party Queen. And here's Tommy with your fourth and final clue. I can hardly wait. What do we got, Vi? M-I-C-K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-E, Mickey Mouse. And Mickey Mouse Mark, you are right. Okay. You've heard Itsy Bitsy Teeny Weeny Yellow Polka Dot Bikini. Avalon Rock and Roll Party Queen and the Mickey Mouse Mark, we're looking for whom? I got it. Annette Funicello. You do have it. You're right. That gives by 110 points. Don has 20 points. This time looking for food contestants. Food. First clue, Tommy. What have you got, Don? Find a wheel. Can you give me the correct title, Vi? Round and round. Looking for food. Next clue, Tommy. American Pie. Round and round. Looking for food. Here's Lisa with your next clue. Looking for some hot stuff, baby, this evening. I want some hot stuff. Hot 
stuff. Hot stuff is right. <laughs> You've heard round and round American pie, hot stuff. What food are we looking for? Hot pie. Hot beef pie. <laughs> Not hot beef pie. <laughs> Next, Chili Sally. What do we got by? There's no tomorrow. I'm sorry, can you give me the correct title, Don? Well, uh, it seems to be unanimous. That's, <laughs> that's acceptable. Okay, you've got it. However, the title uh, they told me that was acceptable at the top of the show was Osola Mio. So that's the one I want you to remember. You've heard round and round, American Pie, Hot Stuff, Osola Mio. What are we looking for? Are you looking for pizza? We are looking for pizza. You are right. This time, contestants, I don't even want to look at those scores. Do you, Don? This time, contestants, we're looking... Okay, time's up. Bye. With 140 points, goes on to face our champion. Don, thank you for playing. Let's go to Dave Williams to find out what you have won. Don, it's a Tosco's telescope on sliding tripod. Zoomed from 20 to 40 power for its wide 87 and a half foot field of viewer scans horizons with four power finder scope from Tosco Sales Incorporated. Your ski Don from Face the Music. Thank you. Well, bye. In just a moment, you'll be back to compete against our champion for $10,000 in cash. And should you defeat our champion, remain champion yourself for five consecutive days. Let's take a look at what you can win. It's a Datsun 310 with front wheel drive and five speed transmission. It's a proof combination of performance and economy to 40 310 coupe from Datsun. And by, if you should remain our champion for 10 days, we'll fly you and a guest around the world. Good luck, by from Face the Music. We'll be back with Bye and our champion to face the music in our championship game for $10,000 in cash right after this. or handy single pack. When you're on the go and you want just one, there's one just for you. Unwrap a smile today. It's a real thing. Let's bring you a smile. It's a real thing. Where were you when your cold pill quit? Route 9, I totally clogged up. Epidac 24 won't quit. Just one relieves symptoms 24 hours. Where were you when your cold pill quit? Mine didn't quit. Mine is Epidac 24. The cold pill that just won't quit. Like it's been hot. Maybe making money, losing money. A lot of stress. It's a little gamey in there. It's very hot. We asked some of the hottest guys in town to trade their deodorant for degree deodorant. Body heat activated, not give it a shot. As your body heat rises, degree releases extra protection when you need it most. I was amazed by it. It never let me down. Absolutely. Better than many trades I've made. Switch to the stick that's body heat activated. I'm not going back. Definitely improved the fit. So, degree deodorant for a higher degree of protection. You can follow your recipe to the letter, but for the crispiest, juiciest chicken, you need a really great oil. That is why I only use Crisco. You can trust Crisco to get chicken crispy outside, juicy inside, every time. The taste is so light, never heavy, never oily. And you know Crisco is 100% pure vegetable oil. To be sure your chicken is crispy, make sure your oil is Crisco. That rat-a-tat-tat -tat celebrating a new day. The way that peach from the farmer's market is mysteriously drawn to it. That crunch waking up your mouth, then your body, then your mind. The natural, nutty, uncompromised taste. That rare feeling of doing something good for yourself and enjoying every last bit. That experience is pure grape nuts.
I have one full-time job and three full-time kids. Oshkosh Bagash Sales Associate, Anna Dragovich. I know how to sell kids' clothes, and my kids know how to stain them. You and Deer eat bleach on these colors, right? Oshkosh knows bright colors, and we suggest new tiny bleach. Tide's activated bleaching system is unbeatable at removing many tough stains. And now it has a special new ingredient that helps keep cotton colors bright, wash after wash. You could have that garment for a very long time. If it's got to be clean, it's got to be tied. When your children look good, it makes you feel good. Ladies and gentlemen, once more our champion, Ed McDevitt. Thank you. Thank you, Ed. This is the moment he's been waiting for during the whole game where he gets to face his challenger, Vi, here. And they will play for $10,000 in cash. Vi, yeah. Ed, you two shake hands and come uh, out fighting. Because yeah. this is the way we play our championship game. Tommy Oliver and the band are going to play some musical clues for you. And we will show some pictures to you. Just as I said at the top of the show, we will watch a famous person grow older before your very eyes. Well, these pictures will range from childhood right on through maturity. Now, the titles of those songs, together with the pictures, will lead you to the identity of that famous person. And to win, Ed, by, you must give me the title of the song and the identity of the person. And if you do that on the first picture, on the first musical clue, by how much will you win? $10,000. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> However, Ed, by the longer it takes you to properly identify our famous person, the less you will win. So now, contestants, have you got it? I, I got, got it. it! Okay, for 10,000 big ones, here's Tommy. What have you got, Ed? Let me entertain you. Let me entertain you. Now, we'll give you 10 seconds to think about it. At the end of that time, I'll come to you for your answer. Let's start the time now, please. Ed, one time only for $10,000 in cash. Who is it? Sammy Davis, Jr. You are right! Telephone with push button dialer operates 300 to 1000 feet equipped with last number recall function from Elcom Memory Products. Yours to enjoy by from Face the Music. Nice to have you with us, guys. Ed McGovern, one single song. Let me entertain you, and you went directly to Sammy Davis Jr. As a matter of fact, I had the feeling the audience knew too. Now, what led you to Sammy Davis Jr. on that one song? I've seen that picture before in magazines and, uh, and in books, so I knew, I knew right away that I was Sammy Davis Jr. As soon as you said it, the audience knew you were right, and I haven't seen that happen on this show before. That's the very first time that's happened to us. As a matter of fact, I've never seen that particular picture of Sammy Davis Jr., and I've seen a lot of them, and I don't think I'd have gotten it if I hadn't known on my card. That was very good guessing. Ed, you're from San Francisco. You're a library technical assistant. Yes. With nine children. No, no, I'm one of nine. You're, you're one of nine children. Yes. Do you have any children? No, I, no, I'm single. Well, I know you. <laughs> I, okay, I won't pursue that anymore. I know you love to jog, so that ten thousand dollars will yes. carry you around the world. You can jog all around uh, the world. I like. jogged before I came here, so that's what helped me. Ed, do you know after after three days? Do you know how much money you have? $14,000? You know to the penny, All right. don't you? That's $4,000 in prizes and $10,000 in cash, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, you know, 
that Ed will be back next time, and he's going to face a whole new set of challenges, and he gets to play for that $10,000 in cash one more time. Now then, if you win that two more times, you win what? A new car. A new car. Seven more times, you go around the world with it. All right. Good luck to you tomorrow. We'll see you then. Thank you all for joining us, for being with us today when we face the music, and again next time when once more we will face the music. Dave Williams speaking. Face the Music is a Sandy Frank production. The dating game is back, and it's more explosive than ever. Take a look. Bachelor number two, how do you spell relief? Uh, S-E-X. <laughs> <laughs> the dating game, weekday mornings at 10 on Channel. It's matchmaking merriment on the dating game, next here on Channel 5. Annie's clothes look so nice, Mrs. Lee. Thanks. I try hard to get my wash really nice. Too bad it's only second rate. What? Second rate. Your detergent doesn't clean and soften and control static. No detergent can do all that. Detergent and full-strength fabric softener combined can. Fold free. The first detergent with full-strength fabric softener built right in. Cleans, softens, controls static. My husband's dirty work shirt. Bolt 3 gets them dazzling bright, really clean. But Bolt 3 does even more. Annie's outfit is soft and snuggly, soft enough for her baby skin. And clingy synthetic socks, no problem. They slip apart, because Bolt 3 really controls static. Bolt 3 cleans, softens, and controls static. It's the first detergent with full-strength fabric softener built right in. Bolt 3. This is Channel 5, KTLA, Los Angeles. From the Chuck Berry stations in Hollywood, California, it's The Dating Game. Here's the star of the show and your host, Jim Lang. Thank you. Oh, you're beautiful. Thank you very much. Thank you, and welcome once again to The Dating Game. Time to meet our first three eligible bachelors for game number one, and here they are. Welcome, gentlemen. 
Well, I'll tell you about these guys. Bachelor number one is quickly becoming famous for his impersonation of Roseanne Rosanna Dana. He's a former lifeguard who's into the beach, camping, rugby, and stunt work. Meet the all-American Jim Gillespie. Jim, welcome. <laughs> Bachelor number two was born in the 1950s, and I think that's where he stayed, really. He, He's into the 50s music, the style, and the dress. In his spare time, he just loves to slick down his hair and wear leather jackets. Originally from Washington, D.C., here's the too cool Joe Banaschek. Joe, welcome. And bachelor number three is an electrician. But his future goal is to become a Supreme Court justice. How about that for a goal? Woodworking, custom sign making, and sports are his special interests. Here's a man whose life is one constant stag party the one and only Edward Stagg. Edward, welcome. And there they are. Those are our three bachelors for game number one. And it's time now to meet our young lady for game number one. And here she is. This little enchantress is sure to make any healthy guy's hat spin. She is currently working as a waitress, but of course one day wants to become an actress. Her hobbies are meeting happy people, flirting and kissing. She loves kissing. Greet the glistening Terry Copley. Hello, Terry. Oh, oh, beautiful. Love it. You love to kiss? Oh, you have three volunteers on the other side of the partition. Uh, we'll ask some questions. Actually, you will a little later. But right now, I'm going to have them say hello. So they can hear their voices for the first time, all right? Number one, would you please say hi to Terry? Hi, Terry. How are you? All right. Number two. How you doing, baby? And number three. Hi, Terry. Okay, then straight ahead, guys. Are you ready to go? All right, we'll be right back with game number one and play the game after this message. We'll go ahead. A Toyota feeling. From the moment you drive the all-new 1980 Toyota Corolla liftback, you'll get the feeling, the thrill of a Toyota Corolla new from the wheels up with a peppier 1.8-liter engine, more comfort and standard equipment than before, and sporty new slipstream styling. See your Toyota dealer today and catch the feeling. Oh, what a feeling to drive Toyota! The Pioneer 99-cent fish and chips break. Feast your eyes on a crisp, succulent taste treat. Savor two golden pieces of tender, moist Icelandic cod. A generous serving of Pioneer's golden, super delicious French fries. Plus Pioneer's own specially seasoned tartar sauce. And Pioneer priced at just 99 cents. Bite into Pioneer's 99 cent fish and chips break at a price that won't bite back. Levitt's fabulous five-hour furniture sale, tomorrow from 5 to 10 p.m. Five hours of sensational savings on America's best-known, first-quality brands of furniture. Save big on living rooms, dining rooms, dinettes, bedrooms and bedding, occasional chairs and recliners. Come see great savings everywhere during Levitt's sensational five-hour furniture sale, tomorrow from 5 to 10 p.m. Don't miss it. You'll love it at Levitt's. You don't always have to spend a lot of money to get quality tires, not if you're smart. That's why I always go out of my way to pick Winston tires. Of course, with all the neighborhood stores they have, I don't have to go very far to find the ones I want. Hey, those look like real good tires you got there. The best, Winston tires. Sands, huh? Listen, instead of ripping them off, next time, why don't you just try buying them? They're not that expensive. I'm Sam Winston, and hey, my tires are something valuable, but you can afford them. Welcome back to the dating game. Terry, you had a little time to think about those hellos. There wasn't much there, so do you have your questions all set? Okay, have a seat right here. Make yourself comfortable. Remember, you can ask anything you like except name, age, occupation, or income. Good luck, and here we go. Okay, let's see. Bachelor number one. My nickname used to be TTT. What do you hope those three T's stand for? Well... It's certainly not terrible, but uh, I timely. I better not be. Well, not. <laughs> timely, terrific, tremendous. Maybe like our first date. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. How about bachelor number two? Tell me your secret fantasy involving a waitress. Ah, uh, being alone with a waitress at a nice restaurant, 
and having in the background some good old rock and roll. No, I want to go to an Italian restaurant. Fine. <laughs> He's easy. <laughs> No problem. No the problem most expensive in town. Oh, boy, I tell you, you're making it hard. Well, about, come on. Not okay, worth okay, it. Okay, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Okay, how about if we uh, went down there and got some, uh, some, like, spaghetti, a large pizza? No, I like raviolis. Okay, we'll get ravioli then. <laughs> no problem. No problem. Okay, okay. You, okay. Okay, bachelor number three. How do you know when you're in love? Oh, that that's real easy. My socks get all soggy. Ew. My, oh, oh, listen. It just starts at the socks, let me tell you. My hair actually is very, You're very short. You're that sweaty? Sure. Ew. What I'm do you do when you go dancing? Anything. Pardon me? What happens to you when you go dancing? Oh, uh, well, I... Well, it's kind of like a combination of dancing and swimming, more or less. Oh. I get real excited real easy. Oh. Well, maybe that's good, you know. Well, could be. Okay, bachelor number two. Yes. Okay, uh, let's see. What part of the human body do you think that people shouldn't be born with anymore? <laughs> Come on. Uh, <laughs> might as well be hands. Oh, why? Aren't you a toucher? Uh, yes, I am. But uh, no one else deserves hands but me. Why? What makes you so good? Oh, boy, I'll tell you. I'm one in a million. Oh, you are? Yes, indeed. Mm, okay. Okay, let's see. Bachelor number one. This is a biggie, so you better do it good. <laughs> Kissing is my hobby, and guys I date have to be good at it. I want to hear your sexiest kiss. Ooh. I can't hear you. Come on. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm just getting warmed up. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, boy. Okay. Um, bachelor number three, let me hear yours. <laughs> I don't hide anything. Well, I do. I'm modest. You know, I don't want everyone to hear what we're doing. I'll cover you up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, bachelor number one. I'm half Italian and half a bunch of junk. What are some of the things you'd like to find in that pile of junk? Well, I certainly hope not a sweat ball. Because a, a li little sweat ball, and then he knows, you know? Like Joyce Brothers has. That's disgusting. Right. But I, uh -huh. I do hope maybe a little Irish. Uh, well, a maybe little a little fun. bit. A little. A little bit. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Bachelor number two. What happens as soon as the sun goes down? Uh, with me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, that's when I start the cruise. I get in my old car, turn on some good old, old rock and roll. Oh, you're really into rock and roll, huh? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Love it. Love it. Oh, that's good. The older, the better. <laughs> rock and roll. That little rock and roll means the game's over, Terry. Now, stay right there. You make up your mind. It's going to be difficult. We'll find out which one of our bachelors gets lucky and gets a date with Terry. Her choice after these words. Don't go away. Look up there. Who is that? It's Color Tile Man, and he's headed for Color Tile. Yikes, it's another Color Tile breakthrough. He gads. Hurry to Color Tile now for wall-busting low prices on multicolored mosaic tile from only 69 cents per sheet. Or choose pure vinyl floor tile from only 39 cents a square foot. At Color Tile, you always find a huge in-stock selection of tile, paint, and wallpaper. Shop Color Tile. 
Mom, I've tried every can of cat food in creation. What does it take to tickle your taste? Take six letters to spell taste the right way. P-U-R-I-N-A. Purina. Tom, since you love the taste of Purina canned food so much, why didn't you spell it out for it me before? Take six letters to spell taste the right way. P-U-R-I-N-A. Now, Imperial Leather returns to Los Angeles for its third fantastic factory direct-to-you leather garment sale. Come down to our plant at 3310 South Main Street, downtown Los Angeles, and choose from over 30,000 ladies and men's leather garments. This is the largest collection of leather garments ever under one roof. We urge you to compare our prices anywhere in the Los Angeles area. Compare values such as men's zipline leather car coats from $69.99. You can't beat that. Ladies leather pant coats from $49.99. You can't beat that. Men's quilt line leather coats from $119.99. Ladies full length leather coats from $109.99. Our sale collection includes men's and ladies, blazers, shearlings, sport coats, vests, and a wide selection of jackets. Register for our door prize and win a free weekend for two in fabulous Las Vegas. No purchase necessary. Hurry down while the selection is best. Imperial Leather Fabulous Leather Sale is on now at our factory, 3310 South Main Street, downtown Los Angeles. Sale hours 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. daily, including Sundays. Don't you dare yeah, miss, miss it. it. Welcome back to the dating game. All right, Terry. The bachelors were most interesting, and one of them is going to be delighted to find out that you've chosen him for a date. And the question is, who will it be? Will your bachelor be number one? Will it be bachelor number two? Or bachelor number three? Who's the lucky fella? Um, bachelor number two. Number two! All right. All right. Number two. Any particular reason why you chose number two? Because he was going to take me to an expensive restaurant. Oh, he was going to take you to an expensive <laughs> restaurant? He was going to take you anywhere. I mean, oh, you just name it. You got ravioli <laughs> and rock and roll. Now, before you meet him, let's meet the other bachelors. Number one is a former lifeguard. He loves the beach, obviously, loves the camp. Is into stunt work, Mr. Jim Gillespie. Jim, come on and say hello to Terry, if you will, please. I know how you feel. I know how you feel. Well, only one gets selected. Number three also didn't get chosen. He's an electrician into woodworking, loves sports. His name is Edward Stagg. Edward, if you would please come and say hi to Terry. Well, gentlemen, I know it's disappointing, but you did a great job. Did you have fun? Oh, yeah. We had fun having you on the show, and we have gifts for both of you. Thank you so much. Jim, thanks a lot. See you later. All right, Terry. Are you ready for this? You're about to come face to face with a man of your choice. Let me tell you something about him, all right? This guy is living in the 50s. I mean, he never got out of the rock and roll era. He loves it. He's originally from Washington, D.C. Joe Banaschek. Joe, come on and say hello to Terry. All right, Joe. Joe and Terry. We are sending you on an unforgettable date to the unforgettable land where dates are hatched, the beautiful desert resort of Palm Springs, California. A little sunshine. Palm Springs, California, a little arid desert town that was turned into a first-class resort oasis by some of Hollywood's most famous celebrities. You'll be living it up at the fabulous Sheraton Oasis Hotel, a complete desert resort hotel with 115 rooms and situated in the heart of Palm Springs on seven and a half acres of beautifully landscaped grounds where you two can wander at will between cooling splashes in their enormous pool. And listen to Bill Haley in the comments. You'll dine at the excellent Hank's American Restaurant and you'll have plenty of opportunities to explore some of the magic offered in this vacation paradise. So take a breathtaking jaunt up the aerial tramway to the top of San Jacinto Mountain, and then back down again, of course, to romp amidst the romantic surroundings of the mysterious desert. Have a wonderful time, and thank you both. Terry, what a group. Thanks a lot. All right. I wonder if they'll make it. Before we begin our next game, let's find out what our runners-up will receive, and once again, here's Johnny. Our runners-up in Game 1 will receive from Conair, a collection of personal care appliances designed for your beauty needs. Affords that professional touch at home. 
A new improved cleaning pledge with a whole new system of cleaners for fresh, clean beauty every time without the worry of buildup. And Lister Mint. No leading mint mouthwash works better or keeps breath fresher longer. Why not switch to Lister Mint? It tastes as good as it works. And put a shower in your toilet bowl with new Be Fresh. Helps fight bowl ring buildup and makes every flush a deodorizing shower. Now back to Jim Lang and the dating game. Hey, by the way, if you're over 18, single, and you live in the Southern California area, and you would like to be a contestant on the dating game, simply call area code 213-467-9136. Jot that down. Monday through Friday between 10 and 7, and that's 467-9136. And now, it's time to meet our next three eligible bachelors for game number two, and here they are. Good luck, guys. Oh, they're ready. I'll tell you, last year, bachelor number one was voted shop foreman of the year, and he claims he one day wants to own his own Chevrolet dealership. When not planning his future in dealing, he enjoys water skiing, snowmobiling, and skating. Please welcome Honest Jim Brucker. Hey, Jim, good luck. Well, if our bachelorette tonight is a belly dancer, she's sure to be the answer to bachelor number two's dreams. He is a head waiter at a local restaurant, hopes to own his own place soon. Born in Cairo, Egypt, he is a wild and crazy guy, George El Moussa. <laughs> bachelor number three is a dating game alumnus whose three main interests are writing, jewelry making, and just staying alive. He's got wide feet and he makes strange sounds David Myers. David, welcome again. And those are our bachelors all set for game number two. Now, our young lady is standing by. She's ready to play, so let's meet her right now. This flawless filly was born in the Philippines in Manila. It was mailed to our states in one of their famous envelopes. At, oh, at age 12, she won her first contest when she was voted homeroom sex goddess. She's into horseback riding and rock and roll. She is the enchanting Elaine Shrewsbury. Hello, Elaine. Is that the pr pronunciation? Elaine. Elaine. All right. Sex goddess at age 12, huh? What can I say? What can I say? I tell you, what we really are interested in is what the bachelors say. And you have some questions, I presume, ready to go? OK, we'll start with just a simple hello or greeting, see how they sound. Number one, would you please say hello to Elaine? Any, any, what a name. It starts to fire, which lights to flame. Oh, right, a poet. How about number two? Hey, what a way he said it. I get a no chance, but I love you, Elaine. Hi, Elaine. Elaine, with an A. All right, we'll try number three. Hi, Elaine. Say, is this my con? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I can hardly wait for this one. Are you ready to go? Right. Have a seat. I'm going to stand back and watch. Hey, good luck, everybody, and here we go. All right. You guys just sound great. Uh, okay, bachelor number one, what famous man would you like to be for a day, and why? I'd like to meet Paul, M Paul M Newman for a day, because I'd just like to drink beer with him. Who'd you like to be? Who would I like to be? Mm -hmm. uh, John Wayne, All-American. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Huh. I well, sure would. Sounds good. Bachelor number two, who would you, what famous man would you like to be? Oh, uh, Omar Sharif. <laughs> <laughs> he's why? Such a, he's such a sexy man. Yeah. He's very handsome, good looking, very wise guy like me. Right. <laughs> but you already feel you're pretty much like him, or? I don't understand. Uh, oh, you know. uh, yeah, because he's Egyptian like me? Ah, the flat oh, see, uh, Okay, thank you, thank you. Bachelor number three, what famous man would you like to be for a day and why? Uh, I'd like to be Jim Lang. <laughs> no, you I, I need some steady I work. <laughs> I can see why. You uh, call this steady? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bachelor number one, what men's magazines do you buy and why? Popular Mechanics and Playboy. <laughs> <laughs> Which is your favorite? Playboy. <laughs> we know why. Yeah, okay. I like to look at the pictures. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> she figured I, that I out. She figured yeah. that out. Um, bachelor number two, when you invite a girl out for dinner, what do you really expect in return? Some... Uh, <coughs> <laughs> Not really. I'll give her the return. Not really what? <laughs> Come on, say the first thing that came to your mind. Sometimes. 
<laughs> it seems to be a difficult question for you to answer. I think uh, we'll Depen ask... Depends to the dinner. <laughs> what, you mean like if you eat with your fingers or something? What? Okay, that's for number three. <laughs> uh, could you answer that same question? Do you remember it? Yes, uh, I, I think I, I would like to have some good table manners for a change. Great. I mean, there's nothing like a girl that comes to eat at your place, and by the time she leaves, she's eaten so much food that you can see the words Goodyear stenciled across her side, and they take out the doorway. Huh. Uh, bachelor number three, you know, you're supposed to try to win the date with me. Get it? <laughs> Did I strike a nerve? Um, <clears throat> not really. That's the problem. Uh, bachelor number one. Um, what female behavior embarrasses you most? Uh, female burping when you're taking her off for a nice dinner. <laughs> that, <laughs> down with her. Th that would be embarrassing. Yeah, it sure would be. Okay, um, bachelor number two, I'm almost afraid to ask, but... Why? Come on. Don't be afraid. I'm a All nice right. guy. What female em behavior embarrasses you most? I can't really imagine any embarrassing you. With... No, uh, none, uh, honey. None. None? None. Well, you must be easy to get along with. Bachelor number three, um, let's hear your advice to the girl who does everything wrong. Get a sex change. <laughs> All right, Elaine. Beautiful, beautiful job. Great. Make up your mind now, relax and think about it. We'll take a couple of minutes for Elaine to ponder her problem, and we'll be right back with her decision as to a date right after these words. Don't go away. There it is. Hate to admit it, but that's Harry's. Couldn't be two of these. Look. <laughs> Whose is whose? I can tell. Uh-huh. Feel. Oh, this one's soft. And smell. Fresh? If it feels really soft and smells April fresh, it's got to be Downy. So, <laughs> it's got to be Harry. Downy bathes in softness and freshness while it bathes away static cling. I'm getting Downy. Red's really going to love this now. April fresh Downy. Hi, how are you today? Worried. I've got a Christmas gift problem. Gifts are easy at Hickory Farms. Relax. Try our beef stick. Mm, very nice. We've got gift packs with beef stick and cheese, too, like Smokey Bar. You tell us your gift problems, Hickory Farms will solve them. Oh, well, I have quite a few. And we'll even send your gifts. No, thanks. I'll deliver them myself. <laughs> On the package of the leading cold capsule, it says, If excessive dryness of the mouth occurs, decrease dosage. The leading capsule contains an ingredient that can cause excessive dryness, but Dristan capsules give you 12-hour relief without this ingredient, so no excessive dryness warning is necessary. Dristan capsules give you 12 hours of relief from colds congestion without excessive dryness for most people. Thank you, Dristan. When you chew juicy fruit, you're gonna love that juicy flavor. Juicy fruit's the flavor lovers come. It's one of a kind with a flavor bright as sunshine. Juicy fruit's the flavor lovers come. Love that luscious burst of flavor in every pack you pick. In every sweet taste and fascinating stick. Come on, chew juicy fruit, and you'll love that juicy flavor. Juicy fruit's the flavor lovers come. Our dating game runners up for game two will receive from Ventura a jumbo wheeled Pullman in dazzling jade with nylon pole strap. This energy saving wheel o matic really gets you rolling. Plus, Triminic Syrup, the number one non prescription cold medication recommended by physicians. And who knows better? Triminic Syrup. Plus, now there's new Agree Cream Rinse and Conditioner with Protein. It's the new damaged hair formula. Plus, Scrunge Scrubber Sponges. They're made tougher than steel pads, yet scour without scratching. Use one in the kitchen, one in the bath. Now back to Jim Lang and the Dating Game. Thank you, Johnny, and welcome back to the Dating Game, everybody. Elaine, you played the game beautifully. I mean, you got all the information, well, not all of it, but as much as you could get, and now the point is, which one impressed you the most? Which bachelor will go on the date with you? Will it be bachelor number one, bachelor number two, or bachelor number three? Who's the lucky fella? Bachelor number three. Number three, all right. That's neat. Is there any reason? Yeah. What was that? 
Well, I have to admit, his last line nailed me. It was very funny. Yeah, it was funny. He was, and um, you were a little afraid of number two. No, I, terrified of number two. <laughs> number one, I was interested. You know, I like us to keep a low profile. He sounded, you know, uh, like a nice guy. But... We could do a blue book exam on this. You could just tell us what you think of each of the guys. As it is, you chose number three. Now, let's meet the other ones quickly. Bachelor number one is a shop foreman into water skiing, Jim Brucker. Jim, come on and say hello to Elaine, please, if you would. All Americans. Bachelor number two is a head waiter locally, originally from Cairo, Egypt, George El Moussa. George, come on and say hello. Hey. Ah, uh, he's a gentleman. Guys, you were just great. Did a super job. Thank you both. We have gifts for each of you. Thank you so much. Thanks, George. Good luck. All right. They're gone. Bachelor number three standing by your date. Let me tell you about number three. Bachelor number three is a writer. He's into making jewelry. Maybe he'll do something for you in that line. His name is David Myers. David, come on and say hello. Congratulations, David. Well, Elaine and David, we know of a special place that seems to have had exceptional attention given to it by Mother Nature herself. And that's where we're sending you on your date, to the picturesque, beautiful land of Santa Cruz, California. In this rustic paradise, you'll be staying at the delightful Santa Cruz Holiday Inn, located adjacent to colorful cafes, sun-drenched beaches, and redwood forests, completing the enchantment of this year-round vacation land. And you'll enjoy a romantic rendezvous at historic Roaring Camp and Big Trees Narrow Gauge Railroad, where the old-fashioned steam train will take you for an excursion through the giant redwood forest followed by a little steak barbecue out under the tree. Sounds very romantic. Your tour will be accommodated by Bob's Executive Limousine Service, considered to be the best because to them, you are number one. And you'll fly via Air California, the airline that best serves California and Nevada and provides our couples with an elegant, luxurious trip every time. Remember, Air California says, we make it easy to fly. Have a great time. You were super, super, and so were you. You did a great job. Come on over here, we'll all say goodbye, all right? Well, did you learn about rock and roll? Did he learn about you? All right. Well, have a wonderful time. Jim Lang saying thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. And I hope you get the date you really want. Ready to throw a kiss? Ready? Come on. Here we go. Some of our couples will be chauffeured by AmeriCar, the extra service car rental that gives you the executive treatment, features Chrysler and other fine cars. Hi, this is Bob Eubanks. You know, on the newlywed game, love just about always means having to say you're sorry. Find out just how much couples don't know about each other on the newlywed game, weeknights at 7.30 on KTLA Channel 5. Next, the Twilight Zone beckons. Do you dare enter? Stay tuned for Suspense the dating game on Channel 5. Paris production. Yeah. You, you need any help? Mm -mm. I, I just want you to know, I think, I think you're the best ever. Yeah, sure. Want my Coke? It's okay, you can have it. No, no. Really, you can have it. <sighs> okay. A Coke Thanks. and a smile.
That's our time warp 40 for today. I hope you had a lot of fun. We're going to be on next month. We're going to do two time warps, but the thing is, there only going to be one game show in each time warp due to April Fool's Day and Easter Sunday. The lineup to be announced. Until then, good night, all. Let's dance.